Welcome back YouTube to Trans West and Belton, just south of Kansas City proper. My name is Ray and today I get to show you Tiffin's uh, 45 FP, Allegro Bus 45 FP with the 450 Power Glide chassis. This shows off some of the great qualities that Tiffin offers in his coaches. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off right in the cockpit in front um, and show you the nice uh, dash big screens uh, it's a big digital dash that is really pleasing to the eye and again just adds to a nice uh, driving experience I mean look at the way those colors are nice they're bright the gauges are easy to read um, Allison transmission on the side so you get a nice uh, feel for that driving experience the seats themselves are nice, cush, comfortable, nine-way uh, speed, so you'll be able to move them, move it around, be comfortable, your passenger as well. Uh, everything you would expect from an A coach, just a nice, good, upfront experience while you're on the road. And as you make your way back into the living quarters, uh, you'll see the nice sofa on this side. Now, I know the trend has been kind of leaning toward that uh, theater seats on one side, and then you have that smaller jackknife kind of futon style bed on the other. What this allows you to have is that theater seats that people really love, really nice and comfortable, but it gives you a nice size sofa on the other side to it. Um, one of the things I also want to show off is we're also, you know, a lot of these newer coaches are starting to get away from those full size uh, beds, like I said, you usually have those jackknives where, you know, maybe you can fit one person on there and it feels like you're back in college in your dorm room on a harder surface. Here, you've got a nice full queen size bed with an air mattress. And a nice quality air mattress, I might add. Um, right here, you'll see, you can open her up, put the pump right in, fill her up. So really, uh, besides having to wait for it to fill up and, and push down, uh, this offers a really nice sleeping arrangement. Now you will notice because of the size of it, you're not going to be able to kick out your theater seats. So it's not one of those things where at night you lay on your theater seats, you pull this out, maybe you have people lay down here and watch a movie because you won't be able to recline in them. You'll still be able to sit. You'll see I've got room to leave my feet in here. Right, but I don't want to give you the impression that you can have this out and have this laid out. There is a limited amount of space here, guys, but it still leaves for a nice evening. You sit in your seats, people, you know, the kids lay out, face the TV or lay backwards, watch the TV up on that teleprompter or teleprompter, televator that I'll bring up right now. So again, this leads right to a nice night of entertainment after being outside camping or doing trails or fishing or whatever it is your destination leads you to you now can end the night with almost like a nice little like sleepover right with the kids where you have them laid out on the bed you're sitting on the on a nice comfy seat you guys are watching tv taking advantage of a great sound bar i mean that is one thing sound is everywhere in here and you, you end up getting a really nice uh theater experience at night. So let me go ahead and put this bed away. Kind of move this through. And it's pretty. I saw how easy that was to pop back in. So again, makes it a nice, easy transition. So even if it's in the morning, you can make the kids do it. You could do it. But again, in less than 10 seconds, I've got your sofa back, beds put away, and everything is nice and open. Uh, so again, I think this is a nice feature to have because again, a lot of the times when you're looking at these modern coaches, if you pick theater seat, you lose the sofa, right? You end up with some kind of jackknife or some people have uh, completely foregone their extra seat and they'll have like a fireplace. Here you get plenty of seating, uh, extra bed. So again, I really, really like the arrangement in this. 45 FP from Tiffin. As we move over to the kitchen, again, plenty of counter space. 
uh, you got your induction stove so you'll have plenty of things uh, as long as you have a metal um, what do you call those pots right as long as you have a metal pot uh, it'll work on it you got your convection oven a good size oven at that so again plenty of space you'll be able to do everything you need to be able to do on that from baked cookies all the way to uh, air frying a turkey oven up here Again, great storage. Tiffin is known for how tall their cabinets are and how much room you could put in it and the quality that they're built. As you can notice, everything's screwed. There's no staples. Everything is nice and tight. And you even have, and you can hear this. And what that means for you is not only does it mean quality as far as wear and tear, but it also means quality as far as sturdiness right so you're not going to hear a bunch of rattling when you're driving down the road uh, additional kind of space can be found right here and again plenty of drawer space now if you might also get a lot of remote controls just letting you know bonus right you have your dishwasher as well in here as we make our way over to the residential fridge this is again, there is nothing that you keep at your house that you wouldn't be able to keep here, right? I mean, plenty of fridge space, plenty of freezer. We also have an ice maker. So again, you're not gonna go without. I mean, you even have a little wine cooler here. So that's a nice little wine fridge that you could put in there. For me, it'd probably be a beer fridge but anything works right if we make our way into that half bathroom again plenty of space i can't stress this enough in this 45 fp you do not feel uh, crunched in here you don't feel stiff you don't feel like you have a lack of space i could walk in here I'm not the tallest guy i am pretty wide but even here i get plenty of space to move around wash my hands you know use the restroom the other feature I want to be able to make our way over to is the dinette again easy to extend for more guests uh, one of the nice things that the dinette offers you uh, versus the booth is these drawers so again you get a little bit more storage there and underneath here so those are all really nice features that you get with the dinette. Plus, I know people sometimes um, with the booths, they sit while they're comfortable for a little bit. Sometimes they put a little stress on your back because you don't have that nice back support when you're sitting in a booth. These chairs offer that support that you're looking for. So if you're in there for a little bit of a while or if you're working and you use it as a place to use your laptop, you're not feeling crunch. You're not feeling, you got that nice, strong back support. You don't have to worry about your lower back bugging you or having pain later that night when you're trying to sleep. Put this back over here. And kind of I'll make our way over to this main hub here. Again, this makes controlling your coach so much easier. It's so intuitive. It's easy. Uh, I think it's easier than using your cell phone, to be honest with you. It lays everything out very quite, very blah, blah, blah. Lays everything out really simply. You can see your lights here, our aqua hot, your water pump, your generator, how your solar and all your energy is being used, and even your temperature. This does have heated floors, so you can control the heat on your floors as well. You can man manipulate all the lights easily, um, your heating and cooling, even your slides can be controlled from here. So again, it just gives you that nice peace of mind that no matter what is going on on your coach, that you're able to either control it or fix it from here. As we make our way over, you've got your bedroom. Your bed is awesome. It's got the tilt, so it'll also go up when you guys are putting in your slides, tilt up from when you're watching TV. There's another televator here. So again, you don't, if you want the, you want your window, you want to be able to look out, you're not 
having to sacrifice that because you also want to watch TV from time to time. The television is in, under here. You've got a great fireplace, so that's a great way to set the mood, keep yourself warm, and just have a nice, quiet, tranquil evening in the bedroom after a day of hiking or wherever your adventure takes you. Again, storage is awesome here. Cabinetry is great. You've got plenty of places to put things. You will definitely not go without. So this definitely will work if you plan on being here for weeks or even months at a time. Uh, I don't think you'd be limited at all to needing anything. The size of this shower, uh, I mean, it really sells itself. It's got a great open area. You know, you've got your seat there. You've got your water miser, which allows you uh, to, if you're dry camping, uh, get the nice hot showers that you enjoy without wasting any water. Um, over here, we've got the dual sinks, which is nice for his and hers. Give a little bit more space. We open up again. I mean, really, with these medicine cabinets, if I, if I had not told you that we were in a coach and I just started in the ba bathroom here, you'd probably think we're in a hotel room or a condo. I mean, it's just a nice open feel. You have your toilet here with your escape egress door behind it. Your washer dryer tucked away right here. And then this is a really good size wardrobe with safe. So again, plenty of space, a shop for your shoes, your clothes, your linens, plenty of room in the shower, plenty of room in that half bathroom. It's really easy to find comfort in this coach. You've got your nice little fan. So again, heating and cooling, keep yourself cool. Use the heat, uh, the fireplace to keep yourself warm. It's just really easy to be at home in here. Uh, and then the look, uh, the nice shiny floors, the lighter uh, cabinetry and furniture brightens it up. Even with our shades down, keeping the sunlight out and just having the lights here, you can see how bright it gets in here. And now if I were to even open up here and let the sunlight through, now you really have this open and airy feel inside. So again, to me is really huge. In RVs, you don't want to feel confined. You don't want to feel like you're in a tin can. This, you get the opposite. Again, you have these nice big windows. It really gives you that open feel. Again, this is a 2023 Tiffin Allegro Bus uh, 45 FP uh, with the 450 horsepower. If you want to hear a little bit more about this coach, feel free to reach out to me or any of these other coaches. Really, it doesn't have to just be this one. Call me about any of the ones you see on the internet. My contact information is underneath. Thank you for spending some time with me.